Hi, Mrs. Young here, and today we are going to talk about the invertebrate group Nidarians. So Nidarians have a stinging cell and take food into a central body cavity. Some examples are jellyfish, coral, and sea anemones. When it comes to the body structure of Nidarians, you have two types. You have the polyp, and then you have the medusa. So let's first talk about the polyp. Polyps are vase shaped. The mouth, as you can see, opens at the top and the tentacles are around the mouth. Most of these are adapted to being attached to an underwater surface like a rock. Normally these reproduce asexually and the way that it works is that a part of the animal starts to grow on the side and then pops off and that's called budding. So examples of polyp-shaped nadarians are sea anemones, coral, and hydra. So then your second body plan or body structure is the medusa. These are bowl-shaped. As you can see up here, it's rounded, looks like an upside down bowl. The mouth opens downward and the tentacles trail down. These are more adapted for swimming. So normally, medusas reproduce sexually. So an example would be like a jellyfish. When it comes to obtaining food, all nadarians have stinging cells that catch prey, immobilize it, and tentacles that pull the prey towards the mouth. So let's take a closer look at the stinging cell structure. When a stinging cell is at rest, it has this little trigger. It looks kind of like a little hair. And what happens is that hair will brush up against a up against prey and it'll release this long thread-like structure that has tiny spines on it. Some of these cells release venom, others don't. So let's talk about reproduction. We said that the, the medusa tends to reproduce sexually and in the jellyfish it actually does both. So the adult medusa or the adult jellyfish will reproduce by releasing egg and sperm cells. The sperm fertilizes the egg and it develops into a larva kind of like we saw with the sponge. That larva then attaches itself to a hard surface like a rock and develops into a polyp shape. The polyp reproduces asexually, meaning part of it breaks off and that little disc floats away and that is what turns into the adult medusa or the adult jellyfish. And then you can see it just keeps repeating itself. So that's a little about Nadarins, and I hope you found that helpful.